Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're looking at another Pulse Rotation deck, and there are some pretty good Decidueye hyped combinations that are coming out, right? You know, a lot of people really think Zork Decidueye is going to be a lot better now, and we, of course, will 100% be looking at that very soon. But we're going to look at Decidueye Ninetales today. It's a bit of a, the bit of the more OG Decidueye partner variant, um... Because Ninetales seems like it's still decent right now. Um, we might look at a Ninetales deck also with Aqua Patch in the near future. So we're definitely not done with my boy Ninetales. But we're going to look at Decidueye Ninetales today. And we're going to see what it's all about. So this deck does have one big advantage still. And that's Unit Energy. I still think Unit Energy is a very powerful card in this deck. Because it allows you to use Water Energies and Grass Energies and one Energy. Which means you can still use them on your Ninetales. And you can use them on your Decidueyes. So that's why I think this deck is still not that terrible and why I think it's still decent. So Decidueye GX before, you know, it kind of was shut down by Parallel City. You know, Decidueye Zork was a deck that, you know, saw some play. It saw success. People did like it. Um, however, of course, Parallel City was a huge factor in why Decidueye can be shut down. One of the just the scary things Decidueye players faced was that Parallel City. But now we're in Sun and Moon on. Parallel City is gone. That garbage is an expanded. That card is out of here. We don't have to worry about that card anymore. So, you can have like three Decidueyes in play now. And not have to worry about a Parallel City coming down anymore. And that's really good. Now again, there are some good Decidueye partners. And Ninetales is one of them that we are going to look at today. Ninetales GX has some pretty good traits. You know, it's got the attack Ice Path, Ice Blade, and Blizzard Edge. Ice Blade does a DC, does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This is going to be one of the main attacks of the deck. Um, early on, we can maybe use Ice Blade with Decidueye to pick off weaker Pokemon, maybe stuff like Inke, Zoruas, um, stuff like that. We also have Blizzard Edge, which can do 160 if we ever need it. Um, we have Ice Path. Now, Ice Path seems to be the main GX attack you're going to use, but to be honest, I find that Hollow Hunt might be better than Ice Path in this deck, because Hollow Hunt is just really good right now, now that cards like Puzzles and Stuff to Charges are out of the format. I don't know, I feel like Hollow Hunt is just better, but I don't know. It's up to you which one you like more, Ice Path. I mean, there's more situations where you might use Ice Path over Hollow Hunt, um, but it's really up to you. Um, now, Decidueye, of course, combos well with Ninetales, thanks to its attack ability Feather Arrow and the attack Razor Leaf, I mean, but mainly Feather Arrow, right? Feather Arrow, once during turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very strong ability. Um, if you get three Decidueyes in play, you're putting 60 damage on the board. Sometimes when Decidueyes are in play, your opponent can't even play a basic Pokemon on their bench that has like 60 HP because they know it'll just get Feather Arrows. So, very threatening Pokemon, very tanky Pokemon, and it has a good attack with Razor Leaf, which hits for 90. And of course, our partner is going to be Ninetales with Ice Blade and stuff. We are playing Baby Ninetales, which we can also play. Very powerful card with Luminous Barrier, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's GXs and EXs. So obviously, we can use Baby Ninetales as a stall kind of card some decks may not have a great answer to it or their answer may be just one attacker which we can deal with early on so baby nine tails is great in here we are of course going with a four two four line of decidueye and some other pokemon we are playing tapu coco with flying flip we got two tapu leles with wonder tag and we got our ranguru with instruct some other um whoops some other backup attackers um obviously the new deoxys could be really good especially when you deal with um, Buzzwool GX, so Baby Deoxys could be good. Um, Latios would be a nice one of in this deck also with Breakthrough being able to snipe stuff. can be great when you use Feather Arrow alongside it. So those are some other tech options you want. Um, one of the best things about this deck is having Beacon and Volpix. Being able to Beacon for two Pokemon is very powerful in a Stage 2 deck like this. And the format also is a little bit slower. It's not as fast, so you can kind of afford to build up your Decidueyes now, which is really good. Obviously, Forest is gone, but you get my point. Going to the items now, we got two Nest Balls. One of the best cards right now, I think, is Nest Ball. Four Rare Candies, to, of course, to go into Decidueye. One Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. We are playing one Switch. Switch right now just seems like a really good card. It might be better than a Skateboard, but we are going to split the difference and run a Switch and a Skateboard. But we can switch out stuff like Decidueye. The Skateboard's really good with Ninetales because it gives it free retreat. We are playing one Timer Ball. One of the cards I despise is Timer Ball, but we're going to play it anyways. If, you know, we don't hit head, so be it. Um, but whatever. Um, we got a lot of evolutions to grab, so Timer Ball is still really good. Rip Evo Soda, though. Uh, we got four Ultra Balls. We really got our Pokemon. We got one Copycat for draw support. We are going four Cynthia's for draw support. Two Lilies. I feel like turn one Lily is just the better alternative now. We got two Tain Lizes for draw. Three Guzmas. Now, the most interesting card I'm playing is actually Volkner. 
But Volkner gives you a free rare candy Decidueye, which gives you a free 20 damage. So we're going to play one Volkner in here and see how it works for us. I like Volkner in this deck. Obviously, there's no lighting energy, but you still do Volkner to get the rare candy. We're going to try it out see how it does for us. Three, or yeah, we got three choice bands, though two might be better. Three is still a good amount for the extra damage output. One escape board to be able to have for your treat on some Pokemon, especially Ninetales. Four DCEs, because everything used DCE. Four unit energies, one grass, one water energy, in case we end up playing against like a stall type of deck with hammers or something like that. Or a deck that plays a heavy enhanced hammer, so that's why we're playing the two extra basic energies. But yeah, this is my Decidueye Ninetales deck. Um, it might be a little bloated, you know, we are playing two Alola Ninetales GXs. We are playing three choice bands, cards you don't usually see, but in this new format, I think it's fine to go with that. So we're going to go find some games with the deck here on PCGO, see the deck in action, and let's see if Decidueye Ninetales is good once again. Let's find out. Alright guys, here we go, let's go take some games here with the Decidueye Tales deck. And alright, first match is up against a Dark deck. Alright, interesting, we'll have to see what kind of a Dark deck this is. Might be a Zoark deck, but there is no Psychic or even Colorless for that matter. So I don't know. We'll have to see what type of deck this is. We are going to win the coin flip though, which is good. My opponent does say hello, so they may recognize me. Alright, let's see what kind of a start we get. We do start with Rowlet. Um, because we have DC in hand, technically we do have a turn 2 Decidueye, which is pretty good. I think this is a good hand to Lily. Um, so that's good. Okay, so they have Energy Lotto, three Energy Lotto, oh my gosh. That is a lot of Energy Lotto to play. That is a lot. Alright, so they're playing Hoopa. Alright, not so good to know. Um, but honestly, Hoopa isn't as bad as you may think, because we have a decent amount of attackers here. It's really not that bad. Um, Lele here for Lily. Which I think I'm gonna do. Think I will do that. We'll play Lele for Lily. I'm, I am really tempted to do Timer Ball first. Um, like I doubt we'll get Judge, so might as well play this now. If we hit Double Tails, then at least it's something we burn. And we hit Double Heads. Why do we have to Double Heads? Um, do I want to grab the Baby Nine Tails and show it? We'll grab Dark Tricks instead. Not to mention, does Situai can still damage Hoopa? Um. So, well, Lily, we're not going to get as many cards as I expected. Okay, that's fine. We do get a Grass Energy, and we'll just pass. Obviously, we can't attack Hoopa with the Sidewide next turn, but we can get the Feather Arrows online, and that is really good. I don't know if Ice Path will work on Hoopa. I've never tried that before. Hopefully, it does. But our main target here should be a Baby Ninetales. So, We'll go into you. I could have went to Dartrix, but we might get knocked out next turn, so it is not worth it. We'll do Cynthia. We hopefully hit a Vulpix or two here. That would be great. Okay. We didn't get energy, so, like, I kind of regret going for the play there where I, uh, get rid of Decidueye Copycat. I do kind of regret catching Decidueye, but we didn't actually hit an energy there. We didn't get a unit, so it's not a big deal. We will be able to Feather Arrow the Hoopa. Part of me is tempted to do Hollow Hunt here. Not much to get back though. Well, I mean, actually, you know what? I think it's fine. Obviously, we're not going to damage him, so there's no point. Um, so instead, we could do Hollow Hunt, and we can put back some stuff we want. And I think what we're going to need is we're going to need Cynthia. Cynthia. I can get back a rare candy, maybe. Or, no, we don't need that. It's either I get back... I, I'm probably gonna just get it as a supporter back, in all honesty. See, yeah, it's probably just gonna be a supporter. And that'll probably just be Lily. We'll just go triple supporter here, just get all the supporters back. Again, I don't think Ice Path works on Hoopa. Like, I'm fairly certain it works. Prevent all effects of attacks. Yeah, Ice Path would count as an effect. And if we can maybe ramp up more Decidueyes, the damage is output is even better. So we'll put down the baby nine tails. So we have the nine tails, and we'll do Cynthia. Hopefully, we are able to find a unit energy here. We do. We do get a Vulpix, which is pretty important too, I think. And once again, we'll just feather arrow the active. We'll play a choice band down, and 
will hit him with Razor Leaf for a whopping zero damage tower. Obviously, Lele and Decidueye are going to take some big damage here, um, but it's fine. There's really nothing else I could have went into there. Um, all we need to do is get DC next turn, and we win the game on this Hoopa. Oh, the Enhanced Hammer. Yikes. That is very bad. Uh-oh. I think I have to go into Beacon next turn. That is very, very bad. Oh, I was not expecting him to even hammer me there because he was, I mean, he might not have much. We didn't really draw anything there off of that either. Alright, we got, we did find the DC. That is very unfortunate. We'll, we'll feather arrow him again. We'll have to go back into Vulpix here. Unfortunately, we can't afford to lose to Sidui. And we'll do Beacon for Rowlet and... I guess Lele. Once we knock out this Hoopo, we should be good to win the game, though. Obviously. I mean, Feather Arrow on itself is doing a lot of damage, so it's fine. We have a good hand, so we, we're be, we'll be able to put down the Rowlet. We have a Skateboard. It's going to touch another Dark Energy. My opponent just says they Frown Face. They may not have anything here, and no, it looks like they don't. And we'll just give them a well-played here, and Baby Ninetales will finish them off. Shrine of Punishments was able to put quite a bit of damage on the board, but at the end of the day, we're Gucci. And we drew a basic water, so even if he did enhance Tamer that unit energy off, we would have had a, another water energy to play on our nine tails, which is pretty nice, so that's good. And we get 50 coins for winning that game. We get some daily evos done. Not bad at all. Shows off why baby nine tails is good. Plus, we get Gardevoir GX here. I mean, I don't really need because I already have two Gardevoir full arts and stuff, but you know what? It's it's a great it's a great card. It's a great ladder. This is one of the better ladders we have seen um, as of recently, because Alright guys, here we go. Let's get another game with the Decidueye Ninetales deck. See what we end up finding here. Alright, we're playing against a dark deck. This might be a, uh... Well, there's metal in the deck too, which tells me this might be like a beast box deck. Who knows? It might also be a Magnezone deck. That's also my second best guess. The metal deck would be a little annoying. Obviously, Ninetales is weak to metal. So we'll have to see if it is going to be a metal deck or not. We are going to start with a lone little Rowlet here. My boy Rowlet. That's fine. Um, we have Cynthia in hand. Oh, my opponent actually scoops the game. Okay, what were they playing? They were playing, it looks like Zora Control. This would have been a pretty bad matchup. Oh no, no they weren't. They only had the one Enhanced Hammer. So there's no Plumeria, no Skull Grunts. They did have Kartana. Oh, it was a Zork Bayonet deck. Okay, so... I'm actually happy my opponent conceded that game. Um, that matchup is not great. He had all those ways to get rid of my energy, so I mean, I guess I'm happy he conceded the match. Uh, we'll get another game, of course, here. Okay, we're actually looking like we're playing against Garchomp here. One of the most annoying decks to play against on this game right now is most likely Garchomp. I've actually seen a lot of people complain about Garchomp on Reddit, and I don't blame them. This deck is very annoying. The best thing we can do is hopefully snipe the Gibbles here early on, and nice, we actually were able to get... Very good hand. This hand is a really good, especially because we can we can Lily for probably everything in our hand. Though I don't think I'm gonna attach DC on Vulpix though, because I don't wanna I don't wanna get KO'd. Vulpix is really important. Okay, we top pick another Decidueye, which is fine. We'll nest ball here for another Rowlet. We'll see what's in the decks. So we do have Lele's. Got all our Decidueyes. We do have one Lily, so that's good. We do have a water energy prize, we have all our units, and we have one DCE prize, so good to know. We'll Ultra Ball here, get rid of Decidueye. We'll have to get rid of both Decidueyes. I mean, it's not a big deal. We can probably stretch her for the back, so it's really not that bad. We'll grab Tapu Lele GX. We'll stretch her for the shuffle effect. We'll put him back in the deck. We should, I mean, we're drawing eight here. It's really not a big deal to like put them back in the deck, as opposed to having them inside of our hands, so it's not a big issue. Well, Lily for a nice big hand, and hopefully we can get like a unit energy to play on Rowlet here just to build up a Decidueye while we're kind of going with what we got. Nice, perfect. Double Dark Tricks isn't bad either. So, he's playing Garchomp, and he will be having Gibble. The question will be, will he be playing the... Will he be playing the 50 HP Gibbles, or will he be playing a 60 HP Gibble? I don't know if they if there is a 60 HP one. I think the one with the ability that allows you to retreat with energy on it is the 60 HP one, but it's 50 HP Gibble, we're sniping that. Fortunately, we won't be able to stop his beacon though. We don't have any access to like judge or anything right now. 
he didn't even get a gibble down that is really really good actually so that's nice we can afford to do double dark tricks now without really having to worry i could even just do my own beacon he didn't we're, we're definitely not on threat again KO. so i can probably just do my own beacon this turn get set up a little bit we have a really nice setup here um garchomp shouldn't be a too bad of a matchup i think these evolution decks are kind of what you want to play against as opposed to like a big basic gx heavy deck like naganadel stack attack for example um something like that these evolution evolution decks are really good to play against so this should hopefully be gucci so my opponent's taking a while to do beacon i don't really know what they're grabbing i'm assuming they're just gonna get two gibbles here Either a Gibble or Riolu. Okay, they are playing the 50 HP Gibble, which is really good to see. So we'll go double Dartrix. And honestly, guys, this hand is so good that I'm, I'm going to hold it. I don't want to waste a DC in case he enhance hammers me. And look at that. We're just going to get double the Sidueye. If he doesn't stop me, we're going to get nine tails down next turn. We're going to snipe his Gibbles, prevent them from becoming Gabites, hopefully. And we can also go to Sidueye. Um, worst case scenario, he retreats into Gibble. He could ascension in a Gabite, I guess, if he finds, like, an escape board energy, but because we have Nine Tails double Decidueye, we KO his... We'll KO it anyway, so it's not a big deal. But the 50 HP Gibble is what you want to see when you're playing against Garchomp with this deck, so this should be good. So put energy on, so if Skewer has an escape board, he'll be able to save the Gibble, but if not... We're going to slap down a DC and we're going to knock it out. But no, he's just going to do a beacon. His best bet here to save his Gibbles is to potentially get two Gibbles here off a of beacon. Um, because if he does that, or if she does that, sorry, it is a girl. Like, if she grabs two Gibbles here, um, then at least one of them might be safe. Because I'm not going to be able to get three Deciduize down. But no, he's just, they're going to go straight for the Garchomp. They don't know that I'm going to plop down Ninetales. And we top deck a Rowlet. Jeez. This deck is drawing so well for me right now. It's actually insane. Um, this is this this is this is an insane setup. We'll do Cynthia. I don't really know where I want to put Feather. I could do it on the active though. I don't mind. Um, we'll put Vulpix down. I don't really mind taking care of the Riolu. Though, if he does, I mean, considering what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out the uh, we're gonna knock out that Gibble here with Ice Blade. Um, so probably, you know, we can beak it. We can knock out the Vulpix next turn with a Feather Arrow, force him to bring something else in the active. So I guess that's the plan. But yeah, we're going to snipe his Gibbles here. And that's really good. And we got a Lily, not bad. I was considering putting the uh, 40 damage on Riolu. But again, we can always snipe it. Yeah, either way, he evolved in the cargo, so it doesn't matter. Besides, we can control him from not even putting Garchomp in play. I don't think he has any other Gibble with less HP than 50. So as long as we have nine tails, we're just going to continuously snipe him. And there's nothing he can really do about it. He will do Guzma on Decidueye, which is what I expect him to do to try and bring something out with a bigger retreat cost. That is fine, though. We have a skateboard and a unit energy in our hand to retreat. So it is all good. We'll put down another nine tails. We won't need baby nine tails at all. Actually, you know what? I can just Volkner. We'll do Volkner, see if we have switch. We don't? Okay. Um, we'll grab Timer Ball. Might as well just play Timer Ball. Who knows? Uh, we'll play it. Double Tails, right? Nope. She got a Heads. Wow. We'll just get Decidueye out of the deck. Just because why not? Uh, we could Top Deck Rare Candy. We haven't played one. We will play the Escape Board. We'll play the Unit. It is a bit of a waste of Unit Energy, to be honest. It's not a big deal, though. Um, and my opponent can see. So I kind of figured he would do that. But yeah, this is what this deck aims to do. It aims to play against these lower HP Pokemon. We had some insane draws there i'm not gonna lie all right guys here we go let's go get another game with our deck i did get interrupted there um right before i found that game against the guy with the charizard outfit so i actually did have to end that recording and i had to actually even concede the match because i had to attend to something so unfortunately that happened um but we'll just do another game anyways it's like not a big issue and uh, we are gonna win the point flip i do see grass so he's definitely playing a grass type and we'll have to see what grass type he's playing so we're gonna give him a little mulligan there nice little blinged out hand um, yeah, we'll see. Could be Glispod. Um, worst case, I think it's Leafeon, because Leafeon is a little tough to deal with. That ability is really hard when our damage output with Nine Tails and stuff ain't the hottest. Um, so our hand ain't terrible. I actually kind of like it, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I do like our hand. So we'll have to see what we're playing against here. Okay, so it is a Glispod deck. Glispod is gonna be an interesting matchup. 
Um, so we'll put down Vulpix. Uh, I'm actually going to maybe Guzma out of Ranguru here. I was going to do a turn with Lily, but next turn, in theory, what I could do is maybe get a Decidueye GX in play. And we could actually maybe snipe this Wimpod with Ice Blade, so we're going to see if we can do that. I mean, he was probably going to retreat anyway, so it's not like it matters that I switched. Plus, obviously, you want I want Vulpix in the active. I don't want Rowlet in the active, so who's was better? I would have done Lily, but, you know, it's fine. So we're going to see an Ultra Ball get rid of Nest Ball and another Ultra Ball. Some pretty big discards there, if I'm being honest. It's going to get a Tapu Lele GX of his own. We'll see what he does with Lele here. He's probably going to do Cynthia. He could do Lily for four. We'll have to see if he goes for the Lily for four or not. No, he's actually going to be playable on Fan Club. Again, I think Lily is just so much better right now than Fan Club. But that's just me. Especially in a stage 2 deck like this, if you can Lily for a big hand size and you hit what you need, oh, he's going to get double win pot. So he's going to be putting a lot of Glissopod pressure on me early on with three win pods in play. Three win pods. So. Not a great hand. I'm going to have to get rid of a skateboard and probably Baby Ninetales. I think Baby Ninetales is okay here, but I mean. Who knows, maybe a Ranguru is going to be an issue for me. I think it's probably fine to actually go Ninetales here, though, you know, it is good to do Beacon, obviously. Um, I think it's better to do this. Now, when we do Lele, we are going to grab Lily, because what I found is, when you have a zero card hand, usually what you do, you know, you grab Sycamore from before. Instead of grabbing Cynthia or Liza or anything, we're actually going to go for Lily, because we get the most advantage out of Lily. So, just a pro tip there, when you have a zero card hand and you Lele, make sure you grab Lily instead of something like Cynthia. Okay, but Rip, we weren't able to hit um, a, um, what's his face? We weren't able to find a, I think I just get rid of these two cards. We weren't able to find a Rare Candy. We're just going to grab a Dartrix then instead. Hopefully he doesn't have Galissapod Guzma in his hand to KO my Dartrix here. That would be pretty bad. But we'll Ice Blade, hit the Wimpod. If we were able to get Rare Candy there, we were going to KO the Wimpod, which would have been really big, but it's fine. If he doesn't get Glisspot down, we can snipe it. Either way, getting damage on Glisspot is good anyways, in my opinion, to soften it up because they are pretty tanky. He's going to play DCE. We'll see if he's able to get a Ranguru out of the active spot. We'll see if he's playing Cynthia or anything. Or not Cynthia, sorry, Escape Rope. He could play Switch. Um, those are just some of his options to switch out. I mean, if he does Escape Rope, I might have to bring out Lele here. He's going to do another Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of Field Blower and a Tapu Lele. Field Blower is a good discard. So we can snipe him again for 50, and he'll be in better range of getting KO'd by maybe even Razor Leaf, which is nice. He's got two cards in hand. He's going to destruct for one. Let's see what he gets. I do want to try Glisspot too. There's a lot of Glisspot combos. So I want to Glisspot Decidueye. There's Pure Glisspot, and we Top Deck Rare Candy. That is an incredible draw. Uh, we'll Choice Band Decidueye. Uh, we'll play another Tapu Lele down. Yeah, it's a lot of Lele's, but I mean, Lele's actually not bad here in this matchup, I don't think. Or I think so. We'll grab Lily, and hopefully we don't get disconnected either. That would be amazing. Yeah, we'll do Lily before we Feather Arrow. Hopefully we get another Rowlet. That's what I'm looking for. We get another Vulpix. Not gonna lie, though. I don't need it. I might even just put another Unergy on to, um, to my Ninetales. Maybe just threaten him. And I'll spread out the love a little bit. I could knock out that wind pod, but uh, we're going to spread out the damage here. And, you know, he can get KO'd by Blizzard Edge, so we might as well kind of spread things out. And, yeah, seems good. So, yeah, we'll build up Nine Tails and then threaten the Blizzard Edge here on these close pods. If I had a Guzma, that would be nice. I could maybe knock him out next turn. Third Ghost Pod going down. And we'll see if this Ranguru even moves from the active spot. He's going to go Tate, and it looks like he has to do the switch play. Yep. We'll see if he goes Crossing Cut or not. I think we'll have to do Ice Path. I kind of want to save Hollow Hunt, especially get energy back, but I might have to go for the Ice Path play here, guys. It depends, like, he's either, if he first impressions me, we knock him out with Blizzard Edge. If he does Armor Press, we still KO with Blizzard Edge because we can still do Feather Arrow. So yeah, he has to do Crossing Cut. Probably going to bring out a Ranguru. No, Lele. Okay, so we'll knock out Lele this turn instead, which is pretty good, actually. I do want to play the DC, but I kind of don't at the same time. I want to hold on to it. I'm just going to do Tate and Liza for now, just shuffle draw. I am looking for another Rowlet. 
And alright, we did find a Rowlet here, which is good. Uh, not a great hand per se, would have been nice to find energy, but again, we are knocking him out, and we will Ice Path him. Showing off the power of Ice Path with Decidueye, and we get two prizes. If I have a Rare Candy prize, now be the time to get it, and beautiful, there it is. So we'll be, get double Decidueye down. So Ninetales is safe for now. He's going to be, you know, kind of forced to stay in the active. He won't be able to do the switch, so... If we can somehow get a unit energy next turn, we'll KO this Glissapod GX. And that is going to be very huge. And at that point, it's going to be hard for my opponent to win. Double Array Guru going down. So yeah, hopefully we are able to get what we need here. That would be amazing. So he's going to do Cynthia. So as long as, you know, no waste rolls or anything is pretty good. Obviously, he can do Ace Roller potentially next turn. I think he's going to play Sky Pillar. Uh, prevent all effects of attack. So yeah, we can still Feather Arrow his bench if we really need to. So he's going to Armor Press. Yep. So we can still Feather Arrow him and Blizzard Edge him for the knockout if we can get the energy. Which we don't. That is a bit of a major rip in the chat. However, if he doesn't get a Toy Span, Ninetales might not even get knocked out. So it might not even matter. I'm going to do this now just so we can thin out the deck a little bit. Double heads is good. I think I will put full picks down at this point in time. So we'll Feather Arrow. We'll spread out the love a little bit. Gotta hope he doesn't have any Srola. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll spread out the damage here. We'll only hit him for 30, so there's really no point. We might as well just snipe this Glisspot, and that one will have seven. Oh, Sky Pillar! Bruh! Okay, whatever. I forgot about Sky Pillar. That is my bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And there's Ace Rolla. All right, so it doesn't matter if we even attacked him. So that makes me a little bit more happier. But that means he can knock me out with First Impression, which is not good. So not having the energy there was really, really, really bad. We might still be in trouble, guys, too. We might still be in trouble here because, well, we lost a lot of energy there. We've already used our GX tech. Our hand is not great. Uh, we'll have to bring out a Sidewai. Worst comes to worst, we'll have to Guzma to Ranguru, but I don't know if it'll work. He has a huge hand. Okay. Maybe I should have brought out this Sidewai instead. That's kind of my bad, whatever. We'll do Cynthia. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought out this to Situi. Oh, still no any energies, bruh. Where are the energies be at? Okay, so we're not finding our energy today, which is not great. Uh, we'll have to just switch out into Tapu Koko for now. Yeah, our hand is abysmal. We've been playing a lot of supporters. Not finding energy, though, is not too good, guys. Coco may not get KO'd this turn, which is like literally the only saving grace right now. But if he has a Guzma, what am I gonna do? Not to mention, Glissbot does two shot my Decidueyes. Yeah, not fine energy is pretty bad, not gonna lie to you guys. If we were able to knock out that Decidueye there with the unit energy, if we were able to find one, I think we'd be in a lot of a we'd be in a better spot. Because we would have blizzard edged him and all would have been great. But instead, yeah, nothing would have happened anyways that turn. So it doesn't really matter if I didn't hit the active. I mean, all these Glyph Bots have damage on them, which is good. He is going to do Guzma. He's going to bring out that Decidueye again. So we will have our own Guzma to play. See if he goes for Armor Press or not. There he is. Okay. He's going to still be two-shotting me. This is pretty bad, guys. Not going to lie. The spot I am in is bad. Volkner It's not helping too much. We'll bring out a Ranguru. doesn't really matter what I brought out. You know, I would have brought out maybe this Glyph Bot because it has no energy on it, but... I still don't want him to attack me. I need to buy some time here. It'd be nice to do Flying Flip also, but, you know, Sky Pillage and play. This is where Espeon EX would have been amazing right now, but, you know, Espeon is gone, so we can de-evolve these guys and just take out all three of them. And, and he had Guzma. That is not good. We are in trouble. I'm actually surprised he's not bringing out the one with the DC on it. He knocks me out regardless with either Ghost Pod, but I'm surprised he's not... Okay, he's switching out. That's fine. That's, you know, a bit of a waste of a switch, so that's good. He'll have... Oh, man, he's at a really big advantage right now, guys. The fact that he's already used Crossing Cut means he can't win on Lele anytime soon, which is, like, a good saving grace. There is a DCE, so... 
that's a start, I guess. Gotta hope he doesn't have Ace Roller here. This is pretty bad. If he has Ace Roller, guys, it's, it's probably game over. We'll grab Stretcher, so next turn we can get back to Sidueye there. He has five cards in hand. He's only played one Ace Roller. He's played two Lele, so... We gotta hope he does not have Ace Roller here to retrieve Glissapod. If he has Ace Roller, guys, I think it's game over. And he had it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> see, either I concede or I play the game out. I don't think we can win at this point. I mean, if we don't top deck anything good, we just straight up lose. The fact that he had Ace Roller there is just not great. Not great. Because what we could have done, we could have double Feather Arrowed him if he didn't do Ace Roller there. And we would have been able to knock out that Glissapod and force him to bring out another attacker. And that's really nice. But, because he had the Ace Roller, we're done for. We can't really shuffle his hand down, so he might have another Guzman here. Okay, DC is what I was looking for. Uh, we're going to have to go into Tapu Lele here. He did armor press me. I don't know if we're going to knock him out. I mean, if he has Guzman, we lose. But, we can do this. So, we're going to be hitting for 40, 70, 90, 110, 130. Okay. So, I think we do actually KO him here. But again, you know, if he has that last Guzma. Yeah, we do knock him out. But if he does have that last Guzma, guys, we are, we're going to be in trouble. Let's see who these two prizes are. We got Cynthia. We got another Decidueye. Can't really play it. The Cynthia is really good, though. So bringing out Glisspot tells me he doesn't have a fourth or one of his last two Guzmas. So unless he's doing this. I mean, we might be able to win here, potentially, if my opponent doesn't have Guzma. He's going to Ultra Ball. Does he have a third Tapu Lele in deck? He does. That's game. Nah, we'll let him take the knockout. Ugh, that's so annoying, though, guys. That's so annoying. <laughs> uh, th those energy whiffs were really bad. If we were able to knock out that uh, Glissapod with the Unit Energy Blizzard Edge play, we probably would have won the game because we just took another two prizes there. So that's really unfortunate. Really annoying loss, not going to lie. My opponent had a lot. I mean, he, he got really good draws there, especially with what he was able to get with his ace rolls and stuff. A little annoying that we lost that, but that'll wrap up the video, and I'll leave you guys with the stream match. Decidueye Ninetales isn't any good right now. I like it quite a bit. I think it's still a decent archetype. Um, I think Baby Ninetales would have been a good call there, too, in all honesty. So maybe we should have went for Baby Ninetales at one point. Um, I don't know. We maybe could have played that better also, potentially. Um... But, you know, it is what it is. A bit of an annoying loss, not gonna lie. I was kinda, I'm kind of annoyed we lost that. <laughs> Don't know why, but yeah, that'll wrap up the video. And I'll just leave you guys with the stream match that I got against the Rodom deck. So yeah, catch you guys later on another PCGO video. Subscribe to Helm the Road to 4,000 subscribers if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I'll see you guys in another post Jason deck video tomorrow. Have a good day, and goodbye. Game. So try out Decidueye Ninetales. Let's see how we do with this deck. Alright. Looks like... Again, we don't really know what we're playing against all, all off the bat. That's the cool thing. The one uh, the one that reduced damage for... Yeah, yeah, I know what uh, Aether does. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I don't think we need it in Vikabulu. Why is there still no full art for Snorlax, Serena, and Beware? Yeah, they don't have a full art for Palosand or Lil and Raticate either. Soon. I mean, not that any of those cards are really any of that playable, though, to be honest with you. All, the, all three of those cards are kind of underwhelming. Um, Serena probably has the most potential, though, to be honest, just because of the, um, the attack comboed with Nihiligo. Yo, bro, I didn't do super bad at Worlds. I made day two, but I mean not much. Oh, oh, whoa, congratulations, Swag. What did you, what did you play for Worlds? I think you were, you said Buzzrock. Ooh, a Rodom deck. It's actually a really interesting matchup. Um, but yeah, what did you end up playing at Worlds, Swag? But yeah, Worlds over. Um, but we don't have to deal with N or Sycamore, Bridget, Floatstone, and Parallel City, they are all gone. And Garbotoxin, Max Elixir, Fighting Fury Belt. This was a huge rotation. It's crazy to see N lead the format. We, I mean, we've been we've been in an endless format before. Um, it's happened once, obviously, before uh, Fates Clyde came out. N was actually not in the format for, I think, like a, a few months, and then it came back. And then we didn't, didn't have to use Sean and Burge's observations. But N has been around since 2011. 
It's been out for, for what, seven years now? It's insane. That card is a dinosaur. Yeah, I changed last minute. I played a super mean Glaceon Zorkless, so that's nice. I'm, you know, it's kind of nice to see a Glaceon Zork deck make day two. Uh, what's your opinion on Zork post-chasing? Still pretty good. Obviously, losing Bridget is pretty bad and puzzles, but Zork will still be really good, I'm sure. I'm sure Zork will still be one of the best decks, if not the best deck. Malamar has tons of potential now that Parallel's gone. Yeah, a lot of decks that suffer due to Parallel City get a lot better now. How many items did he, or tools did he get rid of? Just three. Okay. Kind of do you want to attach to Vulpix here. No Pokemon or Nest Balls, though, which is unfortunate. Hey, how have you been? I've been good, Richard. How have you been doing? Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if I want to attach to DC. I don't want to lose Vulpix and then go down to DC. I can't really do Lily, though, either. We're not drawing as many cards. I think I got to go Cynthia here. Hopefully get a Pokemon that we survive the turn. Yikes, we didn't get a Pokemon. <laughs> okay, that's pretty bad. I'm going to have to just pray we live. We'll see, though. We'll see if we end up surviving this turn. I beat every raid that I saw, and I beat Gardevoir and Malamar decks. Nice. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Gardevoir Zorg. That was probably going to be one of the more, like, interesting Zorg variants. Do you think Zorg Garb will still be a thing without Garbotoxin? I, well, I'll probably try that out eventually, AV. I don't know. It's still got potential. Garbodor still covers the weakness for Zorg, but that deck is more, like, straightforward attack with Zorg. Just use Trash Lance in the late game. So, I mean, it might work. It might work. I don't know how heavy items are going to be played in this new format now that Max Elixirs and Floats and stuff are gone. Stuff like Field Blower, honestly, you don't really need Field Blower at the moment. Yeah, you get rid of Toy Spans and stuff, but yeah, I'm finding that running Field Blower doesn't really matter anymore. I think we're getting knocked out here. How much is this? Three, four, six. That is six items in the discard. He just needs to hit three more... I think I'm a goner, so we'll see if Vulpix survives the turn. This is going to be a hard matchup regardless. This thing can't one-shot my Decidueyes, I guess, which is one good thing. He didn't get the knockout. Nice. Okay, we actually top decked a Rowlet. Um, that's fine. We might as well just start building up Rowlet here. And Lele might honestly go for Lily, just because my hand is pretty good. I do like this hand for next turn, so yeah. We'll do Lily for three. Probably just put both on this guy. We'll do Lily for three. I do find Ultra Ball, so I actually can go for a... Uh, I can go for a Alola Ninetales right now. That wouldn't be bad. Actually, I could have done that knockout this Heat Rotom. Well, I already attached the energy for turn. I think it won't hurt me to do that. I can still do... I, could, I guess I could still do um, Ice Path when we need it. Well, actually... Ooh, maybe I maybe I don't need to play a two a two one nine tail split. I, I made a Zorkar Boater deck and it's good in the new uh, standard. And oh hey, I will. I don't know about a Zorkar Boater, but it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what gets big. Yo yo HPKT, welcome to the stream. I think Zork Bayonet might be the better kind of Zoark uh, psychic variant. To be honest with you, Bayonet just seems more versatile than Garboder. Garboder might be okay. It might be okay. We'll see though. We'll see. I, I don't know. Garboder's okay in, in Zoark. But without Garbotoxin, and even without, like, puzzles and stuff, that deck doesn't work as effectively, I think. It's, Garbodor is kind of just there as, like, a backup attacker, which is not bad. It's still a good attacker. It's, you know, it can do big damage. only gives it one prize, opposed to Bayonet, which is weak to Dark, which means you could fall victim to an easy Zoark. So there's lots of stuff. I actually am tempted to snipe this 120 damaging Rodon, because that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage he could do. So I might try and snipe this guy here. And then, obviously, like, Feather Arrow snipe him. We are going to be in top deck mode, though. That's the only problem. Uh, what do you think about a Bayonet Sableye deck? I don't know, Franco. I don't know. Is it, like, Bayonet GX or the other Bayonet, the baby one? Have you seen the new unknown cards that are coming out? Yeah, AV. Those things look pretty interesting. It's going to be a bit of a stretch to get some of them done. But, I mean, Night March is coming back, technically, which is joys of fun. Even though we don't have Battle Compressor. But... Nightmarch comeback is going to be interesting. Well, Bayonet is in it. Oh, and late game is where it's good. Oh, yeah. Technically, uh, we do get another Vulpix. Might as well play him down. We can knock out the active, or we can snipe the biggest threat. Actually, shoot, Special Mo might actually be the, the biggest threat. I might actually try and chaos this Rodom here. That attack is going to destroy me, so it might be better to snipe this guy. Maybe. And just hope, I mean, if we can keep surviving here, I might be okay. 
Hey guys, like the video. Yes, everyone, listen to Josh. Like the video. If you guys enjoy the, vi the stream and everything, make sure to leave a like. And sub if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I want to try Zork Swamper with the Unknown that uh, needs 35 cards. That would be insane. I think it might be good in Expanded just because you can... You can do a lot more, I think, in Expanded to get your hand size with cards like Roller Skates and stuff like that, but we'll see. I think that I think that hand one might be the better unknown, or like the best one out of all of them. Okay, he's, he's, I don't think he's still attacking me. I think we're still good. We'll have to see which one, see if the unknowns get good. I think eventually, I don't know, I don't, not eventually, but I think someone will do something with those unknowns. I think they are, like, they're funny enough to work. Who knows? Um, okay, now they're attacking me. Uh, hopefully they don't get an escape board and just go into this guy. This is going to be a problem. That special mo attack is actually going to be the death of me. So I got to be careful for that. I don't want to lose because I run out of energy. But these things are such low HP. Decidueye alone could just put in work. So he's actually just going to hit me for 80. How many choice bands has he gone through? Three? We did find another energy. Might hold on to that. We can do a knockout here on the special mo Rodom. Looking for one of our supporters, though, so we can get out of this hand. Okay, that works. We got Lele. Um, yeah, we will do Lele. We might as well spread out the energy a little bit. Tempted to attach the active, in all honesty. I don't know. I think we'll be okay to just go Lele. If we ever get, like, Mo Rodom, we can always just, you know, switch out Guzma, Tate, and Liza. There's a lot more switching cards. Hey, Fury, great to see another stream. So hyped to try the new format. Yeah, same. This is my first time playing in the new format on PCGO. Um, well, I've, I've played it in Friends Battles, but you know what I mean. Okay, we do find a switch. Uh, we can Ultra Ball here. Probably get rid of... Actually, this hand is pretty good. I guess we'll get rid of the unit energy and just grab. I'm gonna get a Dartrix. Try and get more Decidueyes in play. We can knock out the active. It's not really KO me, though. I can actually just let this guy sit here. And we are just gonna snipe... Probably just hit this Rodom here. This thing's doing the most damage. Take out the Rodoms that are most important. That's half the deck. Yeah, it is. It's going to be crazy to try to get a 35-card hand. But, I mean, that, that deck can get shut down by Andrew Judge real quick. So, I don't know how good it'll be. He does it has an order pad. If he plays three escape boards, which he does, that's not good. We'll see if he knocks out my Nine Tails here. If he takes out my Nine Tails, I might be in trouble. He might have to attack me with this guy, which will just Feather Arrow knock it out. So, we'll be able to at least do something to it this turn. So I'm hoping he doesn't KO me. That's a KO. That's great. Hustle Bell. Rip. Should a nice path when I got the chance. Then I wouldn't get KO'd. Hopefully we can actually draw something. Yo, dude, what's up? Yo, Anthony, welcome to stream. Man, you finally caught a stream. You finally caught one. You finally got a stream. Okay, so he's going to excavate. Um... He's got to be out of choice band, so that's kind of my best bet. Hopefully, he doesn't get any Mo Rodoms in the back. We can knock this guy out with Feather Arrow. It just depends on what we bring up, though. If we hit another DC, that would be good. I don't know if I want to bring out Decidueye, though, or do I want to bring out Vulpix? I guess Vulpix is the best guy to bring out. I wish I had another copycat right about now, though. That would be nice. That would be like 20. Ooh, what a top deck. We top deck Decidueye. So, yeah, we'll take out his active. I don't know if I have a DC prize, but if I do, now would be a good time. To get it so I can start attacking again. We got another Tate and Liza, and that's fine. Let's see what he brings up. Let's bring out Heat Rodom, okay. We'll probably he's not gonna attack me with Wash Rodom. We'll hit this Rodom. He might attack me with that. I don't know. I know where to really put the energy. Or the damage, sorry. We'll do Cynthia here and hope we can hit maybe like a DC or like a Nine Tails DC. E. We do, but we get a lull in Nine Tails, but we can actually do this. Actually, do I really do I really want to attack with Decidueye? I actually don't know if that's a good idea or not. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to do this. I wish I hit the active, but I didn't know I was going to hit that. I mean, I could draw an extra card. I don't think that matters. I think we'll just Razor Leaf him for the knockout. I just don't want to get, like, KO'd. I don't know. I think I'll be fine. Is the ladder rotated now? Uh, yeah, we got a new ladder. And we also... The new ladder is actually really good. Um... Soft Lickies, I, I think that's what you call it. Um, and also, Gardevoir GX is the ladder. But yeah, it's now standard format in on the PDCGO ladder. It's, did I just say that? No, it's Sun and Moon on. I, sorry, guys. I, I just had an app, like, not even an hour ago. What do you think are the best decks for the new standard? I don't know. 
honestly probably zoric variants buzzle still gonna be pretty good um all right gotta go maybe i'll be back with my trumpet lesson all right good all good josh all good thanks for stopping by while well, you did yeah dude what's up my homie yo mini welcome to the stream and how you doing today dude how are you doing um yeah this is mini guys and I, if you watched my video today and yesterday i played against him shout out to him shout out to my boy mini english all right so i doubt he's gonna knock me out this turn he's hitting for a lot but it's not a ko if I can get a DC top deck, I can actually go into this Decidueye, maybe, or go into Ninetales. I prefer to go into Ninetales here, but we'll see. I mean, I think we'll be okay. He's doing a lot of damage, though. How many Guzmas has he played? Yeah, he hasn't played a single one yet. We do get a Volkner top deck. Unfortunately, though, it's not really what I need right now. So, once again, we're going to have to spread out the damage a little bit. We might have to say goodbye to one of our Decidueyes here. Which kind of sucks. Maybe at best it's Sableye, actually. Because so that's another thing we could snipe. Okay, well, we might as well say goodbye to Decidueye. I could go Tate and Liza, go into Vulpix. That makes no sense, though. I'm... Volkner can get me a Switch. I don't think there's any items I can get at this point that can help me. I think I just go for the Tate and Liza here. I just hope I get something. Tired from work. It's time to get on this ladder and get those free Guardies. Yeah, the Guardies are nice. They are nice. Okay, we aren't actually able to find what we were looking for we actually did get an okay hand though i'm actually going to just load up decidueye here with energy for next turn we'll get rid of rare candy and water energy can go we'll grab a lola nine tails gx i do have flying flip that might actually be good here in this situation too yeah we'll instruct to see what we can do here we're recording after using i use obs yeah same here Karusu. i use obs also i am also using obs right about now it's the best uh, recording, it's the best screen recorder to use, in my opinion. It's free and it's easy to use. I want to try out Baby Guz Bar, uh, Garb Shrine of Punishment deck. Yeah, I got my video done on it yet, um, the other day, so I mean, if you want to do that. If you want to try my build out, I the Macargo engine, I told you guys, is good. I saw a post on the Pokemon TCG subreddit. I'm going to try Metagross GX, Dustman and Crosma GX with Champions Festival. Massive Walls with No Parallel City. That's true. Yeah, like these stage one decks or stage. Oh man, sorry, I, I can't talk today. These stage two decks, like um, it's actually gonna frost crush me, cr crush me. Interesting play. Our hand is not the greatest, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, these stage two decks that uh, need multiple Pokemon to play don't have to worry about parallel anymore. I think worst case scenario we have to go for Hollow Hunt. I wish that Cephalokies was a Guzma Full Art or. Ace Roller, hopefully they do eventually. Yeah, they'll probably do a Guzma Ladder. It's, Guzma's one of like the most kind of like sought after cards, I think, for full art supporters in this new set, in new format. Um, okay, there's really nothing I need here, is there? I mean, I guess I can... I was hoping for an Ultra Ball in the deck. I probably should check, but I could Ultra Ball here and then go and Destruct, but I can't do that. It's really not much to grab. I could go into Ninetales and then try and bounce back with an Ice Path. I don't hate that, but I kind of want to go for Hollow Hunt this turn. I think I'll just get Switch for next turn. That seems fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll Feather Arrow. Probably hit the Sableye. I don't want to put damage on this. I don't want to rock into that Hustle Belt play. That was nasty. We'll do Hollow Hunt. We'll probably get back. I might actually get back Rip Candy to Sidueye. Right? 20, 40... No, we're not going to win next turn if I do that. Um, nah, okay. Well, we don't need we don't need that. We'll get back two DCEs, that's for sure. And... Do I want... I probably going to need a Cynthia, right? Yeah, because we do have the Switch. So, yeah, we'll just grab these three guys. Yeah, what GX? Yeah, Gardevoir's on the ladder. You really should look into Streamlabs OBS. It's way better than regular OBS. In fact, you would love it. Is it? Yeah, Streamlabs is where you can, like, have stuff be on your stream, I think for like um uh donations and stuff and like have chat be on screen that would be something i'd be interested in i don't know if i would want chat on my screen though i don't know about that what about uh stalling behind shuckle while building guardies on the bench and punish your opponent for having too much energies that could work that could work we'll have to see what happens i am excited for dragon majesty though which comes out in like a week or two dragon majesty is going to be looking pretty good that set looks good we'll see though if dragon majesty lives up to the hype. I don't know if we're getting Altaria GX in that set either, because we didn't get it in this set. Oh my goodness, I just pulled a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. Jeez, Will. Nice, nice. I've yet to pull any more rays in the full art I got. 
Gardevoir seems worth the grind. No, it is. Gardevoir is definitely a good card. It's a good pulse rotation deck. Um, Gardevoir is always going to be a solid card. It's there. I think it's worth it. There is a lot of good metal decks, so in this new format, that is my. That's the only problem with having to use Gardevoir. But Gardevoir is still pretty powerful. I'd say. I think it's still a good deck to play. Actually, I don't even think my opponent is going to be able to retreat. He's probably out of everything he can get. This. So this thing's going to be trapped in the active, which is good. And in the meantime, I can just chip away. He's doing not that much damage to me here, either. Yeah, 50 damage. I'm not even... I'm barely getting scratched. There's really no way my opponent's gonna get down a, uh... Another... Another, like, Heat Rodom. Or even Mo Rodom, for that matter. So, we should be good. That scared me. <laughs> gonna give me a heart attack. Um... We got Guzma, which basically means we have game. Um... We'll hit the Mo Rodom, I guess. Doesn't matter where we put this damage. We should have game next turn. We'll just Ice Blade knock out this Rodom. We don't have to worry about special Mo anymore. We should be okay. We'll just knock out that guy. I only have one Rayquaza GX right now. It'll be a while. Yeah, same. I only have one too. And I, they're so expensive. And uh, I don't feel like burning all of my packs to get them. It's just, it's not worth it. I do want to play Rayquaza. It's just, it's not worth trading so many packs with those cards. I don't have that many packs left either. I'm wow. running a little... I had to mute the mic. I might have to mute, mute the mic a couple times, guys, tonight. Don't worry about that. I am at my friend's house, so. But, yeah. Thanks for everyone for stopping by in the stream. 36 viewers going strong. I gotta thank you guys for stopping by tonight. Alright, so. Again, I, I don't know if my opponent can stop me. He'd have to drop, like, a Pokemon that can one-shot Decidueye, and I don't think there is anything at this point that can do that. Yeah, he's just going to settle for Frost Crush, and that is indeed game over. So what does Ice Blade save a lie? Alright, there we go. We beat him. Not bad. Not a bad match, and that will conclude that part of the 